Well, I started a new project. I just, you know, something caught my eye, something uh, caught my attention, and I thought, well, that's pretty cool. So, here's what it is. Um, if you take an old laptop battery, an old dead laptop battery, and you break it open. What you find inside of this this old this was an old Dell laptop battery. What you find inside is something that looks like this. Okay? So these are individual lithium ion battery cells. And when you break them apart you can get, they look almost like double A's, except uh, they're a little bit bigger. They're, they're called uh, 18650s. They're uh, 180 millimeters in diameter and 650 millimeters tall, 18650. They're lithium ion, and so the energy density, the amount of charge that you can can put in one battery uh, is significantly higher than anything you can do with with regular batteries okay so a lot of people have been using these for a lot of different things um, and the the thing about repurposing them we're using old um, laptop batteries that probably um, are dead. The batteries are dead. The batteries have failed. So so like out of these nine cells, there may be uh, one or two of those cells that are completely shot and never work again. But the majority of these cells are probably perfectly okay. It's like when your car battery fails and the guy at the shop says, well, you had a bad cell in your battery. Well, in a car battery, you've got a 12 volt battery, but it's got six individual cells inside of it, but you can't take it apart and fix those cells. Well, in this case, we've got nine cells in this laptop battery and maybe only one of the cells is bad. We can break it apart, test them, and take the, the cell that really is bad and recycle it the way they should be recycled and repurpose the other cells. So, what can you do with 18650 batteries? Well, there's this uh, guy named Elon Musk who started a, a little car company you may have heard of called Tesla. And Tesla has um, repurposed, excuse me, they don't repurpose uh, dead laptop batteries. They actually build their own batteries or buy them from Samsung or Panasonic. Um, that, but they use 18650s to power their electric cars. Now it takes about 7,000 of them, but they work perfectly well for that application. Um, there's um, one of the things that Tesla does is they sell a home battery. It's called a Tesla Powerwall. And it goes on your wall and you charge the battery up and if you ever have a power failure, your house can run off that battery for a day or two. It has 18650s in it. There's a whole um, new group of folks, there's always do-it-yourselfers, kind of like me, who think, well, if Tesla can use 18650s to build a power wall, I should be able to use 18650s to build a power wall. So I'm going to put in um, 
the uh, uh, comp the links down below um, or if I can figure out how to do it I'll put it in a link up here or over there I, I don't know <laughs> but in the links down below I'll put the link to um, a couple of folks who are building their own power walls using 18650s it's a tedious process it's not um, an inexpensive process you can buy brand new 18650s for about four dollars a piece well if you're going to build a power wall you're going to need about 1400 of them uh, yeah that's a little bit out of my budget but I bought 25 recycled batteries laptop batteries and I got them at a considerable discount I think maybe it you know if all of these 18650s as you can see I've got several in fact I've got this many that I've already um, taken out and cleaned up and, and they're ready to test and I've got some others, and I've got all these that I haven't cleaned up yet. But if, if everything works out and they test out okay, I think I'm going to have about 25 cents a piece in the ones I've got so far. Uh, but it's, like I said, it's a tedious process because you have to take these apart and clean them up and get the glue and stuff off of them and all the tape and and then you have to clean them up to this point and then you have to have some sort of a charger that you um, charge the cell up to see if it'll even take a charge you charge it all the way up and then this little charger here this is actually a charger for um, uh, RC models for uh, electric airplanes and stuff, electric RC airplanes. Um, you charge it up with this and then you put it on discharge and this little device here will discharge the battery over a period of time and tell you what the capacity of that particular cell is. And so you write the capacity on, on the side of the cell like here's one that I don't know if you can see that or not it says um, 1,896. This battery is good for 1,896 milliamp hours. Um, some of them are <clears throat> good. Here's one that was good for uh, 2,558 milliamp hours. Very good battery, very good cell. But each cell is going to have to be tested <clears throat> it's going to have to be charged, it's going to have to be discharged, they're going to have to be segregated into good cells, better cells, bad cells. Um, it's going to be quite a project. Um, don't know how far I'll go with it, um, but um, it's going to be it's going to be fun. So. Um, you know, I may make more videos, and if this progresses, and I'm able to uh, get more batteries and break them down and get more cells, um, it's probably going to take a, a year of uh, testing, breaking down, cleaning up, segregating before I get actually get ready to build anything with them, like a, a power wall. Uh, maybe I could uh, uh, incorporate some of my other hobbies into this. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of into windmills, but one of the problems with my windmill hobby is even if I had a windmill that would make electricity, what do I do with the electricity? Well, now if I build a battery, I'll have something to charge. Um, I'm kind of into 3D printing, but I hadn't really had anything that I could 3D print that, you know, wasn't a toy or something. But now, I'm 3D printing these little racks that I'm keeping my batteries in 
And I think I can use these racks to put groups of cells together and make this a, a, uh, a battery to charge. And maybe I have 10 of these side by side and that becomes my, my main battery pack. I don't know, but I'm using my 3D printer to do this kind of stuff. So maybe it's all kind of coming together. I hope so. Um, anyway, that's just kind of an update of what I've been up to and what I'm doing right now. Uh, by the way, I need to get me some better gloves. I'm tearing these things apart is killing my hands. See you later.